It's his normal pace, his normal delivery is not what you just saw because of the interpreter. He has to put it out there, be measured, wait for the interpreter to do his job. Pause. Wait. In a strange way, can that actually be beneficial to the fighter, allowing him to, to digest and yeah, absorb agree. the message? Yeah, you, you should eat your food slowly, digest it, as you just said. Look don't, at Castillo come after don't it. choke on it. Yep. You shouldn't be choking on words in the corner either. Let them come to you gradually. Agreed. Castillo has been in with the better opposition. He hopes that gives him an advantage against the undefeated Leaping Nets. Because Castillo comes from Nicaragua, where one of the greats came from, Joe, the late great Alexis Oguayo. And of course, one of the top fighters today. Some people have him on pound for pound at the top of the list. Roman Gonzalez. Or better known as Chocolito. Scucci. So skilled, so greatly skilled. And it's great to see somebody in a lower weight class like that getting the attention and put on the pedestal that he's currently on. That was to the outside of that left guard. And now blood coming from Castillo's face. Well, you're seeing some of the effects of the heavy handedness of Libby Nets. And you just said it, Joe. He split, it, he split his lip. Yeah. Castillo has a bloody mouth. But when Lipinets decides to crank it up, he is fast with those hands and heavy-handed. He brings it. Close fight, but it reminds me, uh, very early, but reminds me a little bit of years ago, that great fight with Meldrick Taylor and Chavez. You know, Taylor was winning the fight, you know, outspeed and outboxing a little bit, but Chavez was doing damage. He was marking up his face, and you could see the damage accumulating. The heavier punches by Chavez. By the end of the fight, controversial stoppage. Melvin Taylor was ahead, but at the end, you could see the damage from the punches of Chavez. You're starting to see some of that damage from Levianet's punches, kind of like Chavez with Taylor. There's a right hand. Just, just a heavier hand. If I'm leaving your nets, I'm going downstairs with a left hand and then up. I got a funny feeling he can catch Castillo standing straight up. You know, just, just do a little throwaway punch, maybe with the left jab downstairs, and don't even finish it. Come upstairs. Reminder, right. go to the ESPN Boxing Facebook page or the ESPNVote.com and judge along with Teddy. This is an entertaining main event.